The Washington County Republican Party held its nominating convention at Hurricane High School on Saturday with highlights that included a vote on a local Senate race that resulted in a primary and the party chair asking for civility among party members. Incumbent State Senator Don Ibsen is going to primary for Senate District 29 against challenger Chad Benyon. Benyon took the majority of the delegate vote over two rounds of voting, with the final vote seeing him take 58% to Ibsen's 42%. The threshold a candidate needs to pass convention without a primary is 70%. Ibsen spoke to St. George News after the convention and said he expected this could happen due to the high threshold and is looking forward to the primary election. The 70% is a, is a big threshold and of course I wasn't able to, to accomplish that. So yeah, it's, okay. it's okay. I'm looking forward to the primary. Benyon, who has previously served three terms in the Utah House, said that the results were not surprising and is happy with the outcome. You know, with uh, him being such a long-time incumbent, uh, I think this w was probably pretty likely. We anticipated it. Um, it was a great day, though, to come out on top and also by such a large margin. Washington County Republican Chair Lisa Sandberg said she felt invitations to join the party and caucus with like-minded conservatives is being derailed by the behavior of some of the party members. She recounted the experience of a friend's daughter who attended a caucus meeting for the first time, yet felt she had no place there after witnessing people being caustic to one another over politics. People were rude. I mean, it wasn't just heated. I mean, people said things that, that were derogatory and rude and, and it made her feel like she didn't belong there. We need our Christian life to reflect our political life. We need to be, you know, people don't want to be around us if we're angry and if we're not promoting our message in a positive way. Several candidates and incumbents running for state and federal offices also attended the convention in order to appeal to delegates who will be attending the state party's upcoming convention in April. To learn more, as well as to see the results of a straw poll held at the convention, read the story. This is Maury Kessler reporting for St. George News, your number one source for local news.